Hey, what's up guys, Phil here, and this is a review of the Kinzel Gaming Chair. The chair comes partially disassembled. You'll receive the chair back and seat, two armrests, steel wheel spoke, five plastic wheels, the height adjustment assembly, piston cover, and hydraulic piston. You'll also get a set of instructions and two Allen wrenches. The instructions actually include some steps that are already completed out of the box, so I'll go through the assembly later. The chair is made of composite leather that has a very strong tar smell out of the box due to the inks and adhesives used, but this dissipates over time. At the base of the seat back is a lumbar support pillow with the brand that is attached via clip-on elastic straps. At the neck, there's another smaller pillow that's also attached via clip-on elastic. The seams on the chair are finely stitched, neat, and straight. The chair is a race car style bucket seat. To assemble it, first remove the four screws on the bottom of the seat for the height adjustment assembly. Attach the assembly using the screws you just removed. Now remove the four outer screws on the sides. These are for attaching the arms. Make sure the longer section of the arm faces the front of the seat. Next, carefully pull the lever for adjusting the seat back angle and let it up slowly. I did notice a minor scratch on my wheel spokes, but it's a small cosmetic flaw that doesn't affect functionality. The wheels are plastic and lightweight, but they're pretty hard, have metal stems, and feel durable. Simply push each wheel into the holes on the bottom of the wheel spoke until they click into place. Then flip it right side up and place the hydraulic piston into the hole in the middle. Cap it with the piston cover. Now just simply lift the seat and carefully place it over the piston. This completes the chair assembly. The chair arms can be adjusted independently, up and down, forward and backward, and angled inward. The chair seat back can be reclined to a full horizontal position and still support your weight. The chair itself is pretty comfortable, and the lumbar support and neck pillows provide additional support. The only difficulty that I had was that at 120 pounds, I wasn't quite heavy enough to lower the seat with my body weight, and I had to bounce up and down to lower the seat. Overall, the seat is pretty comfortable, but because the fabric doesn't breathe, you tend to get a little sweaty sitting in it for a long time, and the material squeaks a bit. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.